Oh wait, switch over to him. Because I feel if anybody's gonna know how to break into this, it's gonna be the nerd. Okay. Oh wait. Give me that screwdriver back. You, Ed. Hi. Hold this. Oh, okay. Alright. Crack this bad boy open. I saw the screws in the corners. I don't think we're just going to be able to guess the code. I mean, you can kind of get it from these keys, but let's do it the fun way. Interesting. These are things are random. Okay, look at it first. These wires are used to connect the primary pin to the terminal pin through the intermediary pins. Must have fried water hit that panel. Okay. Okay, take that. Won't be useful anymore. So we need some wire. Loose wires. Keypad is good, but since keypad is working, so if I borrow some of these. Okay. So we got some wires. I should just wrap the wire around it. Okay. Can I just reset it? Oh, no, I need the wires. I played myself. This is going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Okay, loose wires are sets at each time. Hopefully it lets me overlap like this. Q. 
Okay, we can't do the terminal pin. I feel like doubling up is a bad idea, but whatever. I'm genuinely unsure what they want me to do here. There's probably a diagram somewhere on the same guide where I was looking at the wrench. I guess maybe we just want the straightest route and not to connect a bunch of extra crap. Oh yeah, duh, it's about where the burned wire was. Okay, okay. So the clue is there, I just was I didn't pay attention. Oh wait. I see, I see. You were supposed to right click on the bits and pieces to learn things. Let's do that. Okay, so turn it off. That's the power switch. Okay, what are these? Parallel is the main pin, the top, the bottom of the grid. Normalize the bottom pin. Okay. This pin feeds electricity to the grid. Okay, do not touch it when it's live. Alright, then touching the pins does the right thing. Okay. Now we need the wire. I think this was it. Let's try that. Not quite. Also not quite. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna look it up. Electrical engineering, not my thing. Straight to that. Oh, okay, I'm going the wrong direction. Okay. We got it. Alright. Oh. Power off. Got zapped twice. Wire. Is that it? No. Okay. Wire again. Oh, I didn't even use side to side. Okay, so there. Then here. Then here. And then here. And that should do it. Please work. That's it. Green to green, baby. That was a pain in the ass. Okay. That should be it then. Wait, Ed. If he's not, I mean, you have to be ready for. I'm okay. Let's just go. I'm curious if we can even move the concrete slab. Wait. Sorry. What do you want? Uh, follow me. Would you, uh, this way? If you say. There's two of us, so. Can 
concrete slab, put it in there. Sorry. Yeah. Let's get slabby. Detective Bennett, could you try giving that boulder a push? I'm on it. Let's get hernias. Okay. Oh, that actually worked. I think they would. Okay. We still would have had to turn everything off upstairs anyway. Cabinets used to have pictures and certificates on display. All the great ideas and creation born here. All gone. Oh, he didn't follow me, did he? Mr. Hmm? Come with me? Sure. Alright, tag team back again. So we looked at the stuff. These power cables used to provide power to parts of the building. They must have shaken loose when the event happened that caused all the structural damage. We looked at the cabinets. Oh, Morales' lab, he's got to be in there. Security room, we don't have time to think about that. No time for that. Lab's right there. Doctor! My God. Seen better days? Jesus. How good we called him in, too. No. Hey. Ed. <clears throat> Dr. Morales! Are you okay? I... I don't... Why is he in the tube? Time for that ambulance, Detective. Dispatch, this is Detective Bennett. I need an ambulance... I love the dangling chair. Now, let's get him out of there. Okay, well, we gotta find a way. Reinforce to predict the data inside. Only Morales need the code to open them. Dr. Morales' the simulator. The event is cut... Through the cockpit and all the machinery housed beneath it. Gotta find a way in there. Alright. It's just sparks, smoke, and sharp edges over here. I can't climb up from the side. We'll have to get the doors open if we want to see inside. Well, I just I gotta tap back to my Twitch dashboard, sorry. Okay. Be back. The chair must have fallen from the floor above when the ceiling disappeared. Okay. Uh, we got a broken table. That uh, used to be the table Dr. Morales worked at. The papers are spread all around now. He then removed a spherical volume of t space from existence. Dr. Morales' his theories were perfect. Remarkable. Doors are reinforced to protect the... Okay. And no manual override? It's no use. Okay. Oh, there's the keypad. But he never trusted me with the combination. Okay. Servers are all powering up and down at random. Electrical system here is all screwed up, so we got to fix the power, presumably. Nothing but scratch paper in all the drawers. Nothing here is going to help Dr. Morales. Okay. A metal beam. One of those. In every, a terminal in every room. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can't ask him to lift Mr. that up. What are you... Not that. Oh, metal beam is the one we want. Detective, do you think you can lift up that heavy piece of debris? I can try. That's already got it. I should get what I need in fast. A book. Okay. Got it. Not a moment too soon. My back is killing me. Now we're gonna get a hernia. There right, we got Journal Boys, 1982. I don't have a code for that either. What's this? Yeah, I don't have a code for that at all. What's on the paper? Don't have time for origami, should you try looking at the paper? Okay, they wanted me to use the look button, not the use button. Alright, control panel, main body, holographic display. Okay, so that's presumably where the door is behind in there. Security keypad, it's Pi, 314. Okay. Is there anything else we can do here while we're here? 
probably doesn't work for the other guy. Security logs. Uh, a lid simmer? Alright, database access. Okay, so sh stuff's borked. Can we reboot it? Thermal scan. Oh, here we go. Okay, he's definitely in there. There's some other stuff going on here, too. Like at the table and whatnot. Okay. Saw the hole. Alright, we'll try the keypad first. Also, okay, it gives you... Is it 0314? Okay. Is it three one four one? Yes. I couldn't remember the fourth digit. I'm sorry. I didn't pay that much attention. Oh, oh, that's losing. He's missing some parts. He's still alive. Where's that ambulance? I feel like we should start. Hang on, doctor. The bleeding. Can't stay with me. Oh, I'm guessing. Parts of him were within the sphere that Not blew up. Your discovery be misused. I promise. Apparently that's saving Dr. Morales. What's the status? Oh, she's a doctor. Legs and left forearm completely severed. BP very low. The wounds were cauterized at the time of the trauma, which kept... Cauterized? What severed the limbs? Unknown. Hello. Ed? Anna. Uncle Javi. Oh. Angel. Oh no. So they are all connected. My find it. My vault. Okay. I, I feel like we're going to go back to the security room and have some clue bats to hit it with. I don't understand. Find my vault. Your uncle holds the key. Stay with me. Dr. Morales. Oh, he dead. Oh, he's super dead. He's so fucking dead. Jelly beans. Well. I just... I don't understand why this had to happen. We weren't exactly close, but he was still the only family I had left. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? You didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't listen to him. What do you mean? He knew. He told me people were following him, that they were after his work. But I just assumed he was being paranoid. He gets that way sometimes, so I told him, damn it, if I just shut up and listen to him. Someone was following him? And the explosion that killed him? Oh, God. I feel like it was more a malfunction, but... You and your uncle weren't close? Well, we were back when I was a kid. Javi was my dad's brother. I remember him being over at our house a lot, visiting with my parents and me. But then my mom died and my dad a year later. And after that, he pretty much stopped coming around. He never spoke to me again, until today. Growing up, well, that sucks. I always thought it was my fault, but I had made him mad at me. I thought he blamed me for his brother's death. Anna. It's all right. I know none of it was my fault. Before Uncle Javi died, he told me to find his vault. I was there, yes. His research. He must have kept a secret vault somewhere to protect it. Could also be a metaphor. Something truly groundbreaking and powerful. If the wrong people got a hold of that kind of information, it could be very bad. Where is That's it? not good. Until today, I had no idea he even had one. I can't process all this. I have something that might help. Oh. 
Oh. It's his journal. He was always writing in it. It's locked. Like I said, he was paranoid. I don't know the combination, but I might be able to break it open. Hang on. Let me think about this for a second. Okay. Uh, embossed in the cover. What could it mean? 1982. There were 365... Um, pesos. Nope. Uh, five nine one. Nope. Okay. Um, Para ti, mi sobrina. Wow, it's like a million dollars. <laughs> not quite. And they're not dollars, they're pesos. I put one in this jar every day I was away. That's 365 of them. It's not a lot, but if you save them, maybe someday they can help you when you need it. Uncle Javi, don't go away again. I'm not going anywhere, Anna Angel. Te prometo. Okay. Um... Thank you so much. I can't believe I dropped it. If you hadn't picked it up, I... It's more than just a regular coin, I take it? I guess it's kind of my lucky charm. Was it's it 519 or, fi or was it 591 or 519? Yes, that's something. Okay. There. All done. Now you have the key to my treasure. Keep it safe, okay? My lucky coin. April 22nd. There it is. It's got the year on it, so. 422. Oh, got it. Went up. We were good. Got it. It was my birthday. What's this? What is oh, this? It's all in some kind of code. He was, he I think I've seen this code, but... Yeah. Wait, there's a loose note here. It's not in code. They're after me. Do not trust the police. Oh, we got a betrayal? Uh-oh. Somebody called? Detective! I didn't see you there. I can turn invisible. It's my superpower. What? I'm joking, son. Listen, I pretty much... I get the feeling he might be down, but Reg might be the one we need to watch out for. That Morales may have kept? No. I mean, yes, I'm sure. All right, we'll get some guys to search his residence. Now, this explosion. Never seen anything like this in all my years on the force. Tell me, Mr. Reddings, what exactly happened in that lab? Well, they said not to trust him, so... I have no idea. I'm in the dark as much as you are. Dr. Morales kept me pretty insulated from his work and only told me what he was working on when he had numbers for me to crunch. I had no idea that what he was working on was so dangerous. I see. Mr. Eddings, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some follow-up questions back at the station. Ah, uh, great. We gotta go perjure ourselves. And Miss Castellanos, I know you've had a rough day. I have some questions for you too, but they can wait for tomorrow. Do you have a car or...? No, I ride the subway. That's right. And you said that's where the two of you met. This morning. That's the reporter. See? Anna, if it's all right with you, I'd feel better if I gave you a ride home. I'd appreciate a ride. Thank you. Ed, come along with me and we'll drop her off on our way to the station. Sure thing. Okie dokie. Oh, back to the vent. I don't think you can get in here. But I don't like this place. How do I get out? Why are there like scratchings on the floor? That seems like a bad time. But it might be the way we have to go. 
fan above. We do a number some more and handprints. I guess that was the way to go. The heck? I remember something. Hansel and Gretel. But Hansel and Gretel were too clever for their mean old. Stuff. Okay, so we're looking for some sort of crumbs. Breadcrumbs in the forest behind them as they walk. And the clever children followed the breadcrumbs straight back home. What's stepmother mean? It means that she wasn't the real mama. Why? Because if she was the real mama, she'd never want to lose them out in the woods. Fair enough. I just want to give them big tickles. Come here, you. <laughs> hey, mama. Also, she's got a book. Interesting. All right, I can't go any further that way. And that doesn't seem to do anything. But it wouldn't let me go any further over there. Over the leaves. Well, unless I missed a side route. Okay, that's a way down. Oh, that's a lot of goop. I'll say the cord seemed like a bad idea, but okay. There's the numbers again. Wait, orb. So that's at one end. What was the memory? Long term. Let's get traumatized. Miss Sabrina. Why can't I see her? She's not alive. She's Oof. with the other angels. Or that's why she became a nurse. All right. All right. Was this room open here before? I feel like we passed under the fan before, so. Okay, no, we did go. This is the way we came in. It just rotated. Okay. Yeah. We just gotta find... Hello. I go sideways or anything here? No. It's either stop or turn around. So we've got to find another hole. They're usually where the blood is, which was a little weird, but we'll see. Burn that bridge when we get to it.
But that looks like an exit, so. At least there were prints near an exit before. This could be a whole lot of nothing. I, I think this. Oh no, this is a way down. So we're looking for one more memory. Music's intensifying, which is cool. Okay, memory, we got it. And the blood should be near the next drop. What I tell you? No. Oh. Clean up this room. No, Papa, you didn't. Don't you talk back to me. You know what I have to do to keep food on our table. I don't have time to clean up after you, you little brat. Oh, well, that went poorly. You don't have a mama anymore. Right. Okay, can't go any further that way. So now we just gotta find the drop. The addition of the spin to disorient you is a nice touch, but at the same time. I'm not even sure exactly why we're down here in the first place, so... There's only so much impact that has. Okay, we're not going that way. And this just loops back around. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's a loop. We go this way. Also, I've been like rapid clicking. Apparently, we can just hold it. Remember that bend, so hopefully this is new. Or this this is just the other way to the memory. That's what it looks like. Okay. The little map bit in between seems to imply that the drops are near one end to the other, but it's not entirely clear. Oh, you haven't tried this route. Okay. This could be another loop, though. Yeah, that's just... Crossover again. Did we try this one? I don't, I don't remember getting this many numbers in a row. North. Okay, yeah, that's where we got the memory. Or is it? Or was that was something like that on the last one? Yeah, let's go to the end of this first. But we know that like the torn rags or paper or whatever seem to be a thing. I don't know what those little indicators are down at like in the corners and sides and stuff. Okay, we don't want to go to tentacle type Pokemon, but that is new. We hadn't run into that before. Eventually we gotta run into places to check, right? Okay, no blood. Okay, 
torn stuff. Take the turn this time. That's event. See you. Must have dozed off while looking at Uncle uh, Yavi's journal. Wait, I remember something. The cipher. That's handy. That, what was that sound? Someone in my apartment? Uh oh. Damn it, I must have left myself in the kitchen. Can't let them get in here. Damn. Door doesn't have a lock. Can I move the book bookshelf? How? Uh. Push the shelf. Right. Slow him down. Can I take a book? Don't mess with it. Okay. The weeks on these and couldn't even sell them for 10 bucks to the art show. I'm not taking them with me. Okay. Okay. Drawers. Okay. Blue cup. We'll be using the weapon, but I'd rather just get out of here. Can't take the computer. See ya. Well, so much for that. This fucking city. Gotta get off this fire escape quickly. Gonna see if I can close the window. Of course it's busted. as it goes, okay. Well. Alright. Ladder laying on the ground is broken. Crowd's on a cruise, so there's no one there could help me. Alright, heading back up. We also haven't saved in a while, so. I hear him thumping on the uh, bookcase. I don't think we've saved manually at all, so. I feel like after this point, I'll probably. Clear it. Might be able to break those boards. Okay, okay do we need to go get the thing downstairs? Do I have anything? No. It's getting thumpy. Also, I'm kind of afraid to save. To... Oh, I can't remove that. to do I see anything loose that we could grab or maybe maybe these boards down below are loose now He's supposed to have a handle. All right, yeah, cool. Hospital ID badge. And so, if you use the key, we just. No, I've seen a cipher like this before. Yeah. Okay. Angel, I got it. There you go. You'll be a cryptologist in no time. Now I'm gonna write your name in code, Uncle Javi. Now do I have to go back for the freaking, uh, handle? Like, what the hell? 
pain in my ass. Like I'm kind of hovering over anything that looks vaguely red. I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do here. Oh, the button that says release in the middle. Okay. I didn't realize that was a release for the handle. Okay, we're good, we're good. Let's roll! Oh god. Pounding stopped. Gotta go fast. Padding started again. All right, we're good. Actually, can I release the handle again? Might come in handy, I don't know. Try the glasses loose, okay. Oh god, well he's out. Help! Somebody! I'll have to cut him off. Oh, cut the thing. Duh. Yeah, just fucking use it. I like the way you do it manually. It would just do it manually. Fuck. Oh, got his ass. Well, that worked out well. Hi, guys. How's it going? Ed, detective! We're gonna get you out of here. Come on, let's go. That's handy. Why were they there? Are you okay? I will be. Thanks. Who was that man? And why was he chasing me? I don't know, but listen, we need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. If someone was following us, we must have lost him. Well, that's something at least. We're going to stay here for a little while, figure out what to do. That's a bit of a jump, but okay. Look, I'll just go and call this into the station. We can dust your apartment, figure out who that scumbag was. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal. What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. What note? It's up to you. We don't have a choice at this point. I don't think we have a choice, Ed. We're it's like the allies we can get. We need to trust somebody. Look, you might not know it yet, but I'm one of the good guys. So how about some answers? He has proven that he is not wed to regulation, so... I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, Detective, but we had to. You had to, huh? We found this note from my uncle. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Look, that explosion in the lab was no accident. Dr. Morales was working on a powerful new technology, and someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Oops. Morales has a vault somewhere with more of this technology contained inside, we need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. 
No, you can't do that. If Morales was right and someone on the force was after him. Please, detective, just give us 20. Yeah, I feel like this is uh the guy who played the lead Gemini Rue and um Abe Goldfarb, but we'll see when we get to the credits. 24 hours. No more secrets. Deal. Good. Cuz I got a couple questions need answering. Oh. Ask away. Let's ask about the research. You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Oh. Dirt. Using the lab super collider, Dr. Morales discovered a new type of twin particle. Oh, it's going to be quantum. It always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. Oh. These two particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call That's a resonance, baby. Resonance. We got a title. Uh, pretend that all made sense. What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles, two devices. You can place these devices some distance apart and then release the particles trapped inside. The particles okay. instantly snap back together, collide in the exact center, and release a large amount of energy. So and it's just... A certain area of effect is it's kind of a combined fission-fusion thing. You split it to smash it back together. Okay. The further you pull the particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. Ah and I developed a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. You could have just said that. I love this guy. All right, I gotta bring my Twitch dashboard back up just a sec. Okay, yeah, we'll probably finish up at the exposition ferry here and then uh, call it a night. Uh, ask about the vault. So what's in this vault? I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. But I'm guessing it's a report oh, into resonance particles, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe mm -hmm. even... Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty beat, so we'll wrap up after this. And now that Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. Right. And we're going to be the ones to find it. Okay. Uh, ask about the circumstances of Morales' death. Is that the explosion in Morales's lab was not an accident? The way that hole was cut out of the lab, it had to Again, be a the resonance weapon. Music mix is a little high. That's not on me. Caused it himself. An event of that size would require two very. And there's only one volume slider, so I can't split them up. Apart with the lab in the center, this was no accident. What about resonance weapons? So what would a resonance weapon look like? Doctor Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications, but weaponizing them would be fairly simple. The devices would be pretty small. Softball size, maybe. By placing a device on... Now I won't trust anything the size of a softball for the rest of the game. ...intended area of effect and synchronizing their release with some kind of radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. Now I won't trust any cell phones either. So I could place resonance devices, say, in a doorway and vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, <laughs> it's not technically vaporizing. Or pull them farther away and erase a whole building from existence. I suppose. If I mounted these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make this blast? That's what happened in the intro. Theoretical limit. My god. So this vault has to be destroyed. But they would have had to place them on either side of, of like, all those places. No, that's only if the technology is used incorrectly. Anna, you're he said 60 hours, right? ...to bring about a new age of peace and human prosperity. Imagine it. Unlimited clean energy, faster than light travel, instant communication over unlimited distances. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No, I'm not gonna let you put this woman in danger. Or did you already forget that someone tried to kill her tonight? Enough! All this talk is pointless unless we find the vault before the people who killed my uncle do. My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands, the choice... We'll probably run a little bit later because we have an ad coming up and I don't want to just spit on it. Good. Okay. Now, Ed, how do we find this vault? Well, um, my best... Hopefully he finishes explaining before, uh... Get what? behind me. Oh. Oh, are we going blasting? 
Hands where I can see them. Okay. This is the reporter, isn't it? I'm coming out. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We told you someone was following us. Who are you? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Wait a second. Wait a second, it's time for an ad break. But yeah, we'll remember him from the hospital, that's what I'm guessing. But yeah, be right back. Okay, so. Uh, you look familiar. Oh, wait. You walk by us in the hospital. Ah. There too. Okay, look. I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post? Online? I was at the hospital working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. I smelled the story, so I followed you guys. Ray Abbott, I've seen his picture in the news. You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. Would seem a little weird, but okay. Investigative journalist? I want to help you. No, no more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Well, I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. You son of a bitch. Look, you don't know it, but you need me. Yeah. Do we though? You we actually do, probably. But... That's my bread and butter. I have contacts. People who live under the radar, you need to know something, they can get it. Crooks, you mean. I've exposed more bad guys than you ever will. Now look here. That's probably like he, likely. <laughs> need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. It's a reputable news source. Yeah, I've heard that one before. You step out of line. I get it. You can trust me. The day I trust a muckraker like you. Guys, we're not going to get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's cool off, get some... Yeah, I probably should have just snoozed the... We'll regroup right here in the... Ad. Sorry about that. I did not do that to exploit anybody. Oh, somebody dropped something. What's this? Reporter's following you. Get rid of him. Oh! Give that back. That's none of your business. Actually, I, would, I was sort of wondering, I don't know if that's a red herring or what. Like, maybe there was another... Maybe it's related to another case. To find and open Dr. Morales' vault, we need three things. One, the vault is most likely hidden somewhere inside Juno Laboratories. My okay. guess is it's in one of the many underground tunnels. So, we'll need a blueprint of the lab. Blueprints of all major buildings are on file in the city archives, which is in the police administration building. Okay. Well... Two. Even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of information on the vault to help us figure out exactly where in the lab. These are going to be our submissions, aren't they? Simple, detective. We follow the money. Somebody had to build this vault, and it probably didn't come cheap. So we find financial statements. National Credit Service. There we go. Transaction history. But nothing but bank shit. Maybe they can help us find it. All right. And three. We need to figure out how to open the vault. That would be the code and shit. My uncle's last words were, your uncle holds the key. So go to his uncle's place. Oh, we have a bonus uncle. He's dead. Don't make me get a shovel. I'd like you to come with me. Okay. Uh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Oh, All right. We'll split up. Remember, no talking to police and no posting stories on your blog. It's not a blog. Good luck, everyone, and thank you. All right. And we got an achievement for getting control of all four. I'm going to save real quick. And we're going to call it there. Again, sorry to drop the ad like that, but... uh. All right.